Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyu. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zeka Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. Correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. A real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that... Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here! Less talking, more blasting! I 
more and more peaceful flight. How did they find this route? Which is for life? It's those interlopers! Stay formation! We must take this ship! They seem just as surprised as we are. It might be a coincidence. All squadrons shoot to kill! Lady Lilith has decreed these heathens be purged for their nefarious deeds! Unfortunate time on our part. Stay alert for more. It just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. And let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hearts. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an asteroid yanking your chain. Finally, that was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempil. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago. The first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly. We experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of Primal Beasts. Heh. <laughs> Kinda weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry, I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was... afraid of your reactions, if you learned I was an astral. We believe in you. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. Yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Uh, 
So that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow. To find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Obvious, no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Crap's really hitting the fan now, huh? We better hightail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug-of-war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain. Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith, and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zeka Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a tough road ahead. Everyone, prepare <laughs> yourselves accordingly. Uh, Skyfarer, I see. Got an order for a new weapon? Take care. Welcome. Pepper in your weapons? I'll unlock the power. Thanks for coming. Godsend. <laughs> I go where I'm needed. Simple as that. By the way, Captain, I don't know if you've heard, but the castle is under attack by the Church of Avia. That forced each of the city's wards to declare temporary lockdowns. I'll be around until the brouhaha settles down. Give me a holler if you need anything. We can't let Avia get away with all they've done. Take this, and go show them who's boss. Oh, father, we 
better put a sending out the old crew signal, eh? Who should we poke? already? Look, you've scratched my back in the past, so I'm willing to give part with some intel, free of charge. Regarding the city, my people are out surveying the damage as we speak. Early reports suggest, strangely enough, that Avia isn't focused on taking out the commercial district. Instead, they're concentrating on one area and one area alone. The castle. Considering they've got a force of 5,000 strong, you'd think they'd try to occupy more. But here we are. In addition to the ground troops, they've got manned and unmanned aircraft to boot. Not to mention, the Silver Wolf Corps and the Sword Veil seem to be acting in concert. First time for everything, huh? To be completely honest, the whole thing makes me mad as hell. I'd like to jump into this circus and pound a few chumps myself. The city's well-being comes first. You just go smack their leader a good one for me. Got it? We'll all sleep better once she's out of commission. Avia is focused entirely on occupying Seed Hollow Castle. I fear Lilith is wasting no time. She's not sparing numbers either. There's a million of them swarming around. We don't need to engage with all of them. Cut off the snake's head, and you don't have to worry about the body. We'll enter the castle through these doors. Everyone ready? Ready. This time, I'm coming too. We'll save Lyria, and stop Lilith once and for all. Undercroft should be just down this corridor. Man, those poor seed hollow guards. They didn't sign up for this.
Cleared out this area. Get out of here or face the Silver Wolf Corps. You idiot! It's that crew! Lady Lilith will reward us generously for their head. Don't back down. We have the power of the primeval gods on our side. Primeval gods, huh? Amazing how that term exists. 600 years after I first formed Avia, Lilith and I were working on our experiment. Studying the effects of sky dweller emotions, such as faith, on primal beasts. But she twisted the convictions of the masses, reshaping them as building blocks for this paramilitaristic cult. Lady Lilith will guide us to the promised land. We do not fear death! Inquisitor Rook's troop will be here soon! Hold on till then! The church finds you in defiance of Our Lady's grand message. Face your penance! Now we have to deal with full-on battleships? This is not in my job description. We don't have time to repel all of them. Stopping Lilith comes first. Wait, Roland. Weren't you the one who sealed Angra Mine you? Indeed. 500 years ago. You couldn't find a better location? For Sky's sake, putting a primal like that under a damn metropolis! Forgive me. It was the height of the war, and I needed a place inaccessible to an astral like Lilith. So you chose an enemy stronghold. Not exactly a conventional plan, but effective nonetheless. How dare you fabricate these lies about Lady Lilith's astral origin? You will learn to stay your tongue, interloper! <laughs> Finally broke through them. Onward and downward. These soldiers are not to blame for Lilith's machinations. And yet they're the ones paying the ultimate price. A little debris won't stop us. Allow me. Rubble. Think you can clean an airship? What's the pay like? Shall we talk price? Quickly! The Undercroft should be close. You're safe with me, my good pincer! in the cellars below. There's no way their fuselage will reach us down there. I just hope they stop firing completely. This castle's too pretty to be destroyed. Huh? Gonna take half a miracle to bring down that carrier. So do we run, or...? <sighs> Judging from the position of this tower, the terrace leading to the court should be close. Let's head there. Let's get you open. Who routed Rook and his men? A Lady Lilith! Yes! A Lady Lilith! You shall let us pass, lest you face the wrath of mighty Lumia! You foul interlopers! We will not let you stand in the way of our glorious victory! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! 
you even know what Wilbur is planning to do? How dare you question our lady? She will guide us to salvation. Dr. Luz, no! You're wrong! She would swallow this whole sky up to see her selfish ambition fulfilled. You included, just that. Just as she did 15 years ago in Dolly. If you wait to do my head seat, it will not work! You will pay for making a mockery of Lady Lilith! They would die before doubting Lilith? She has them utterly bewitched. Maybe now's not the best time for conversion. Let's save the deep brainwashing till after the fighting, shall we? You promised these Sky Dwellers salvation while ushering them toward doom. Lilith, you are a fiend. Another way in. Sword-veiled mages were at their post. Why haven't they come yet? General Magliel pulled them back. Said they were worn out from dogs. <laughs> they a bunch of babies. General Galant would never let us have nap time. You would tar it. It should still be in the research phase. The multiple legs allow for maximum stability and maneuverability. It has high firepower and horsepower and a certain je ne sais quoi. We get it, you How do we blow it up? Sorry. Just like you blow anything else up. So maybe we could try to salvage it? <laughs> That's not good. Let us sell him for Yes! This thing is a hit harder than Rackham. But he doesn't move like the wind. Its legs should be lightly armored compared to the core. That's where we should focus our fire. Come on, man! 
Can it change its weaponry? Everyone, be on guard! Am I ever glad we are the same time? I guess so. and its limbs are beginning to buckle. The pressure differential should result in... None of us be here! What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry. Our assault is working. Maneuvers. One more push and we'll have it out of commission. We won't be able to lay a finger on it while boosters are active. Focus on evasion for now. Easy enough for you to say. Do you see it dashing around everywhere? This model of Tadiwatari expends tons of energy while boosting. It shouldn't last much longer. If only we could explain it to death. Switched artillery again. Watch out for changes in its attack pattern. Of course. Yeah! We beat the screws out of that robo! Well done! And what a relief we didn't completely destroy such a fine specimen. Hold on, you hear that humming? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Recruit a little help. Its core seems undamaged. I could use it to fight off the others. Did you really just hop up on that thing? Do you even have a license? Where we're going, you have no need for my assistance. It'll be a stitch to cover you. Uh, why does Roland always get weirder around new machines? Oh, come now! Why must you criticize me mid-battle? Can't we focus? Prepare our cannons! Have to give all reinforcements by you, it's our time to come online!
Hi, Uatar. Good night, sweet prince. You will be missed. More rubble, is it? Never fear. I'll have it removed post-haste. <laughs>